Beneath the shimmer of a sun-kissed Great Wacomico River in Virginia's northern neck lays a large mass of native oysters which have exceeded even the greatest of expectations. We've got probably about four times what I was expecting. So this is uh, ex just a great result. These oysters are thriving and growing on 11 Norfolk District built reefs as part of the overall Chesapeake Bay Native Oyster Restoration Program. These reefs have produced a level of results that have not been experienced with any other previous restoration projects and according to scientists, this is not by happenstance. The existing paradigm was not working. The existing method of, of trying to restore oysters was not working and so you have to think differently. You have to think what else might work such as alternative reef structures or in this case offering a better uh, three-dimensional structure to the oyster so it can build its natural reefs. Unlike the other restoration projects that were built with the, the low relief reefs which just constitute a few inches of shell, maybe four inches of shell spread out over the bottom as a layer. Uh, we varied the reef height here and we built reefs up to two feet tall off the bottom. We call those medium relief reefs and that those reefs range anywhere from about 10 inches to two feet in height. And those reefs are the ones where we're getting this over a thousand oysters per square meter. We do not see results this good on the low relief reefs. Scientists attribute the success to several different factors including reef design, site selection based on historical references, as well as the tributary itself which is known for its high level of oyster reproduction. The Corps estimates that the reefs contain 218 million oysters, far beyond the 4 million oysters that were there when the project began. The Chesapeake Bay program goal is to increase native oyster biomass tenfold by 2010 and the baseline is 1994. And this project right now, although we haven't fully analyzed the data, uh, we've certainly exceeded that significantly, the tenfold goal right now in the Great Wacomico. I think once we're done doing the analysis, the number is going to be more about 50 times. Another benefit that comes with the tightly packed oyster reefs is the formation of an entire ecosystem which helps the bay's other marine life. This is actually excellent nursery habitat for blue crabs. The grass layer that's growing on here and most of it is actually growing on the oyster shells because they require some kind of hard substrate so this is now not only providing the community from an oyster reef but also you have the algae that serves as good settlement for blue crabs and other valuable species. Out of the lessons which have been learned from the Great Wacomico River, scientists with the Corps have begun work on the Lynn Haven River in Virginia Beach, where they have built reefs using fossilized shell in November of 2007. Because of those lessons learned, as well as better background information, the Lynn Haven River project stands a better chance initially to see the same results as the Great Wacomico project. We have a lot more detailed hydrodynamic information. We have a highly detailed model that we use to place our reefs probably more accurately than we place them here in the Great Wacomico. One thing that does concern the team is poaching on the Corps' sanctuary reefs. It's absolutely crucial that these reefs be left alone. If they're harvested, they're going to remove these large animals. Uh, this, is, this oyster right here is already a market-sized animal. Those are what they'll be targeting. And if they do that, not only will it take them, but they'll take, say, uh, this, these baby oysters that are attached to it, they'll take those, and then they'll break this reef structure up and basically smash the reefs flat and pretty much bring us back to square one. With the number of oysters that have been achieved on the core's Great Wacomico Reefs, researchers believe that they can replicate this in other trap estuaries which may help to bring about a resurgence in the overall native oyster population. In my view, it's clear that, that oysters can be restored, that the native oyster can be restored successfully. This shows it. For the Army Corps of Engineers, Patrick Bloodgood reporting.